Good morning. It's Tuesday. Hope you're having a great day so far. We are on day two of our week of constructed response writing, looking at a passage, looking at a question, figuring out how to write a great answer to that question. Um, we are working on practicing the race model of constructed response writing. We're going to race to the finish with these answers by writing really um, well written, well thought out, well said um, answers. So what is race? I have it up here on my board. R-A-C-E. Restate the question. Start by turning that question into a statement. Use their words. Turn it directly into a statement to start your answer. Why is that part important? What do you think? This provides the reader context to your answer. I want you to think about writing an answer um, to a question that the, the reader doesn't have the passage to go along with. They don't have the context to help them know what it is that you're talking about. So it provides um, kind of a setup and context to your answer. So if somebody hadn't actually read the passage, they would still understand what you're writing about. So we're going to restate the question in a statement at the beginning. And then oops, answer the question. That goes right along with that restate. Um, you're going to answer the question. And if they're asking multiple things, you need to check to make sure they, that you're answering all parts or all questions that are asked in the in the prompt or in the question. And then you cite the text. That is where you refer back to the passage um, to give details and facts to support that answer. And then explain that reference. You're gonna connect those two ideas. Connect your answer to the citation and prove how this proves your answer or show, state, connect how this proves your answer. So just like, again, when we did the Oreo format, we stated an opinion, we gave a reason, and then we explained that reason to explain the opinion. It's the same thing here. You have an answer, you have a citation to support that, and then you have an explanation to connect the two together. So that is the race model, R-A-C-E, restate, answer, cite, explain. So if you can get that stuck in your heads, um, you will be great. So today's passage is Coral Reef, the ocean's coolest neighborhood. And the question is, how do coral reefs help the environment? So I will read at the passage out loud to you. Um, I can post it here if you'd like to read it by yourself, but I'm going to go ahead and read it out loud. There might not be anything cooler in the whole ocean than a coral reef. In fact, coral reefs are actually some of the most fascinating living communities on Earth. Did you ever wonder how a coral reef forms? Tiny animals called coral polyps are responsible for the formation of coral reefs. The coral polyps attach to rocks or other hard surfaces and continue to grow throughout their lifespan. When they die, they harden. Then new coral polyps grow on top of them. This makes the reef expand. In fact, coral reefs are always growing. They grow about one to two centimeters per year. Let's talk more about these coral polyps. Like all animals, coral polyps need to eat. Their diet consists mainly of other minuscule animals, such as plankton and algae. The algae get their food from the sun. Because the sunlight can only penetrate shallow water, the algae and coral polyps live in shallow water. This is where coral reefs generally form. A wide variety of animals live in coral reefs. Some animals live on the actual reef, like starfish, snails, and clams. Other species swim around the reef, like fish and sharks. There are three types of coral reefs. Fringing reefs from along a coastline form along a coastline. Barrier reefs grow a bit farther from land. They form parallel to the shore, 
separated from it by a deep channel of water. Finally, coral atolls are coral reefs that encircle a lagoon. Coral reefs exist all around the world. The biggest one is called the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is located off the northeast coast of Australia. It is very long, stretching out for 2,300 kilometers. It can even be seen from outer space. Every year, the beautiful Great Barrier Reef attracts many scuba divers and tourists, about 2 million visitors per year. Coral reefs are a vital part of our planet. First of all, they are a home for many animals. They also protect shorelines against storms and floods. They can even provide us with the natural resources we need to make some kinds of medicine. However, a serious problem is occurring. Many coral reefs are dying. Pollution and overfishing are the main causes. And since coral reefs take a long time to grow, they cannot grow fast enough to replace the damage. As a result, the coral reefs around the world are starting to disappear. Some scientists predict that someday soon most of the coral reefs will be gone. That is why we have to take good care of them. We should do our best to protect these incredible living communities for generations to come. So, there is my passage. Um, the author's purpose is to inform you about Coral Reef and also to um, persuade you to um, think that they're important and that we should take care of them. The, the main purpose is to inform you about Coral Reef, what they are, how they grow, where they live, um, you know, what they do, what they are. So um, then the question, how do Coral Reefs help the environment? So if we go to our race model, we restate, ask, cite, explain. I'm going to model doing this for you. I have written it out, um, but I want you to attempt this as we go as well. So I want you to get out a pen and a paper or pencil and paper, and um, you can pause here while you get that and get ready to um, kind of jot down some ideas along with me. Okay. So I hope you um, got some things. I hope you're going to follow along. The first part is to restate the question in your answer. So the question is, how do coral reefs help the environment? I want you to try to write that down. How could you restate that, turn that question into a statement? Um, and then the next part is answer. So you're going to provide some of that answer there in that kind of topic sentence of your paragraph. You restate and answer the question in that sentence. Okay, I will show you what I came up with. Coral reefs help the environment in many ways. That is how I took that question, coral reefs help the environment. Um, I turned that question, how do, and then I, I turned it into a sentence, a statement, coral reefs help the environment in many ways. That answer is very vague. That is not enough. How, that didn't really answer it. It provides a sentence there um, saying they help the environment in different ways, but I didn't specify what kind of way. So I really have to do more than that. I have to um, cite the text. I have to give information and information and details from that text, and I have to explain then how that proves my answer. So uh, moving on to my, going back to my paragraph, coral reefs, the ocean's coolest neighborhood states, coral, coral are a vital part of the environment. One way they are vital is that these amazing sea creatures provide shelter for many different kinds of ocean life. So I gave you a couple sentences there to refer back to the text. I quoted it for one, I put it in quotations, and then I paraphrased um, when it said many creatures live here, I paraphrased by saying it provides shelter for many different um, kinds of ocean life. And then I have to explain how this answers the question, how this proves my, my answer. They, they help the environment because without coral reef, crustaceans, fish, and starfish would be without a home. That proves my point. That proves how that text reference answers the question. 
And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to give you another citation and explanation. Crustaceans, oh, nope. Uh, the author also says that coral protects shoreline along the ocean. So there's my reference. I, I talk about what the author said. Now again, I have to explain that. How does that actually help the environment then? How does that answer the question? This helps to prevent wave and storm damage along the coast. That's again something that the text said, but I, I kind of clarify how that answers the question. I prove that they are helpful to the environment by the text references and the explanation. And then I'm going to give you a conclusion pair or conclusion sentence just to wrap up the whole paragraph um, to give the reader um, a reminder of what it is that we are answering. Coral reef are a very important part of the ecosystem. So here is my example of that constructed response, the restate, answer, cite, explain. Now I'm giving you a different passage and a prompt. Um, so go ahead and read through your passage and open up the Google Docs and type your answer straight into that document. Um, based on the prompt, remember to use the race model, uh, race to the finish here as you um, create this constructed response.